Well, hey everybody, Martika here with Martika J Makes and welcome. So today I did a haul at Joann's. Now, if you are watching this video on the evening of March the 11th, you know that yesterday on the 10th, they started their McCall sale. It is a three-day sale, I believe, uh, where your McCall patterns are $1.99 and they do have early spring patterns out. So if your uh, Joann's is slow at getting things out, you might want to call them first and make sure that they have their uh, newest patterns in stock and out ready to sell but before i show you uh, the things that i got in those patterns i want to show you a few other things that i grabbed while i was there because sometimes i want to weed some other things outside of sewing into it so i picked up some flowers there and they did have their spring florals on sale you guys and i believe that they were 60 percent off if i'm not mistaken could have been 50 percent, but i think it was 60 percent. but this little uh bouquet was 7.99 originally and i got 50 or 60 percent off and i just thought that these were absolutely gorgeous because i am i like to buy bundles like this because i put these in my wreath that hangs on my front door and when i put that together i might do a recording this time just to show you how simple it is and how quick i get this done so i grabbed these they're like a um like a dusty rose almost kind of in along with purplish almost like two to three tones of um purples to pinks in here really really pretty so i grabbed those and then i actually got 50 percent off of this and this is a wreath hook i needed another one to hang on my door since my door is black i needed a black one to match it so i grabbed that it was 4.99 and i uh, they had a 50 percent off coupon uh in the app so i used that and then i had bought one of these for my husband for our bathroom countertop and i was hoping that they would have some more left when I went back and they did you guys these baskets are 50% off at Joann's now this time when I went back they didn't have very many left so uh, they must be catching on but they already have um, the fabric like a muslin fabric on the inside and it really looks nice in the corner you know of a bathroom countertop where you can just put things down in there these are pretty deep so you can uh, put some of your whatnots in there that you kind of use on a daily basis that you don't necessarily want sitting out and these were only $7.99 and I got it for half off so yeah that was a pretty good deal right there and when I was when after when I checked out uh, of everything that I had, the cashier said we have two uh, shelves set up over there. You can go pick you out one item for free. And they were telling everybody this, so they must have had some extra things like leftover from Christmas in the store that they are really trying to get rid of because when everybody checks out, they tell them to go and pick something out for free. I cannot believe this. So I went over there. They had stockings. They had um, like some Christmas decor. They had like some uh, photos and frames and things like that. But what I saw that I liked was this bowl because I could get a lot of use out of this bowl. And look on the inside. Is that not beautiful? So you could use it during Christmas time, uh, maybe like with some dry snacks in it. I wouldn't necessarily use this for anything that I have to dip out because I wouldn't want to mess that up. But you guys, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And guess what the original cost on this was? It was $49.99. You got, let me, let me show you, let me show you. There's the cost right there. It was $49.99. I got it for free because she told me to go pick some out. They had two of these sitting there. So I this is the one that I got. So I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. I had a really fun time at Joann's today, obviously, uh, after I got my pattern. So let's go ahead and get into the patterns to show you what I've gotten. And I was very, very uh, purposeful when, when going through and seeing what I needed because I am getting ready to actually purge uh, quite a few of my patterns that I got in the past that at this point in my life, I know that I'm not going to make. So it's time to get rid of 
some things and put things in its place that I know is going to get made and worn. So the first one that I grabbed was McCall's 7959. And I just thought that this was such a cute top right here, you guys. I just love the look of that. I love the look of that with some jeans because that is really what I would wear like in the spring and in the summertime. And this has like a, um, it has like a certain um, cut in the neck or should I say, I don't know what to call this, but um, this is actually a separate piece in the neck area that you would um, attach onto to give it that definition. But uh, you have different lengths in this where you can make it out of a dress or out of a top. You have different, you have a different uh, sleeve in there and it's really, really cute. Um, you know, I love the gathered sleeve uh, at the bottom there. And then you have this short sleeve, which I really, really like. So definitely going to be making this one. That one again is McCall 7959. Um, you can, the fabrics is lawn, doby, crepe, and linen for this particular one. Now, the next one that I grabbed was McCall's 8042. And every time I saw this, you guys, I think it came out last year. Every time I saw it and I went after it, it was not in the drawer. I grabbed it today. I was able to get this, but I love this top right here. I uh, love the, it's like kind of like a faux ruffle around the neck and then you have the tie you can uh, get a better look of it right here but you have the different uh, sleeves that can go with this I love those sleeves too and this top right here I just love it love it the um, fabrics that you can use with this one is crepe um, it's either lame or lame uh, lawn charmeuse and I can think of some other types of fabrics that you can use with this also because yeah, it's a really, really lightweight top. Now, the next one that I got, this is actually a dress. And I had have been wanting this for the longest, but could not get my hands on it because it was never in the drawer. And this is McCall 7537. You guys, when I opened the drawer, this was the only one in there the only one so i definitely was able to go ahead and grab that really really cute dress that um you can make and wear to you know, church wedding dinner whatever very very cute now this is another one that i was not able to get my hands on because it was never in the drawer and this is a uh, mccall's m7624 and I have always thought this was so, so cute. And I'm going to tell you, in that catalog, you guys, it seems like that they've brought some old patterns, you know, not necessarily out of print patterns, but some patterns that they probably set aside for a while and brought back because I had not seen this in the book in a while. Now, I could have looked over it, but you tell me I had not seen it in, in for a while in the book. So I was able to go ahead and grab that today. You do have some other views of this. That's also really, really cute, but I definitely adore this. I love the cutout on the arm there very very cute now the next one it is a new early spring pattern and it is mccall's m8261 and this right here it looks like a pajama set almost but um there is not a view with this robe off this is like a loose jumper okay really cute now you could wear this to bed if you want but if you make this in a different fabric you could definitely wear this to more than uh more places than bed very very cute you can make a little romper out of it uh, the shorts romper or you can even make this into a dress um very nice and i didn't give you the fabrics to the other ones but the fabrics for this one that you can do is charmeuse crepes chalice and jersey knit okay because you do have two different uh patterns going on here now this one is a really fun one and I just, there was a couple of things on here um, that I think is gonna be really cute, great to use for some scrap fabric. And this is McCall's M8272. And this is a early spring pattern, cute little handbags, you guys. But the ones that caught my eye was this one, 
with the gold chain and then that one there with the uh, ruffled handle there or the scrunchy looking handle not ruffled that uh, looks like a scrunchy very very cute so these are all just handbags that's that's all it is and um yeah that'll be a lot of fun now this other one is m mccall's m8271 and these are some nice nice classy totes you guys really cute bags that uh, you can make for a vacation or if you just re really want to carry a big bag around or these make great gifts you guys if you really get into making your gifts you find that you save a lot of money and a lot of time trying to go out and find what people like just keep you some great patterns and some great fabrics at home for just for those gifts that may be coming up and you'd be surprised how much people adore them you can even fill these things up with even more gifts so yeah i just thought that both of these really are really really nice to have now only three more patterns to go uh this is an early spring pattern and it is mccall's m8256 really cute summery blouse there this is a learn to sew pattern so very very easy um it only it works good with lawn cotton blends poplin or even stable knits you have a tank you have a couple of more views of this just a really cute loose shirt you can wear that on the outside or tuck it in like she did uh great sleeve variations and you could get a lot of use out of a pattern like this especially when using it with different fabrics great fabric uh great pattern for beginners now, the next one that I did get is McCall's M8255. How cute is that one there? Now, I am not like the fitted type person. As you can see, you know, that's more of a fitted look. But what made me go ahead and get it is the fact that, you guys, these are princess seams that this is made with. And I, if you can see right there in the, in the drawings, those are princess seams. I love princess seams because for me, they're so easy for me to fit on myself. So this is going to be easy. It, it does have a zipper in the back. Um, the fabrics that's good for this is cotton blends, gingham, linen, sateen. Uh, it does take a lining. And uh, I just think that this would be uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to put together. Might take a couple of days or whatever. I don't think this is beginner friendly. It says that it's for average. So yeah, if you're a beginner, I don't think I would tackle this one if I were you. But I uh, love the cut at the bottom there. I mean, just a lot of great detail in this top. Something you could definitely wear with some jeans or a nice uh, flowy skirt or even some uh, wide leg pants would be really cute with this. And the last one that I did get, this is an oldie but goodie. And I got this for only one view and it is McCall's M80. 88 m8088 and it is this right here but i did not get this for this view although that's a cute dress on her but this is the one that i like and you guys the reason why i like this is because if you look really close the the waist is gathered it's it looks like a wrap but it's more of a gathered uh waist there and it's like an asymmetrical um bottom there where you have this the wrap side that's a little bit longer than the this side here so i just thought that was really 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 cute and i grabbed it <laughs> so that is my haul for today at joann's so you do have time if you're watching this like i said this evening or if you're watching this on the 12th of march you do have time to go out there and grab you some things grab you uh some nice beginner patterns or things that you know you're gonna wear for the spring and for the summer and um yeah just have fun so thank you guys for watching and i will see you again in the next video be sure to give it a thumbs up and you already know to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so that you do not miss an, a video that i put up have a great one you guys bye bye